All right, guys, so we're back with another episode of Gym Blog Era. Um, I've got some great news, okay? So you guys know I just moved to Las Vegas, and um, I've been bouncing around from commercial gym to commercial gym to commercial gym. Truth is, I just can't do the commercial, the commercial gym thing. Um, people just, it just throw me off for some reason. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me, okay? Nine times out of ten, it's us. It's probably just me. But um, I, I just got a membership at a private gym in Las Vegas called Elevation. And um, like I haven't even started my workout yet, and I'm already excited. Like You know you're a gym rat whenever you go into a new gym and you're like amazed by all of the equipment that's in there. Like I've seen, like I'm looking at equipment that I've never even seen before, but as soon as I see the but as soon as I see the machine, I just know exactly what it's gonna work. Um, so today's gonna be a back, rear delt, and an arm day. Today's gonna be more of a heavy volume day. I'm feeling very intense. Um, private gym's really just waking me up. I mean, it really just, just feeds me. All right, so we're gonna start off with this machine. I don't even know the name of the machine, um, but we're gonna go for a of 12 here. So the first exercise is gonna be a warm up just to get my body um, activated, get my back activated. And then we're gonna, you know, start throwing some plates on this thing. Oh my God, that feels so good. Ooh. Two. Three. Four. Five, wow, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah. That feels really good, and that's just the first set. We haven't even added any weight on it. I'm gonna be honest, like I don't really care for bodybuilding gyms too much just because um, I'm a competitive person and it really like makes me want to get bigger or take you know bodybuilding serious um and i'm just not there in my life see see bodybuilding is a very um bodybuilding is a very demanding sport i mean it's a lifestyle you hear people say a sport is a lifestyle no it's a lifestyle and i won't say that it's the hardest sport in the world but what i will say is every moment while you're in prep is game time there's no practice and go home and rest there's no weekends like you're working out you're training um, you're eating, you have to watch your sleep, you have to watch how much you drink, you have to watch how much water you're getting, um, and you have to manage, and you have to manage the rest of your life while you're like in the zone. Um, and I'm just like not there. Like I mean, my goal was never to be the biggest person in the gym, my goal was to find the best of both worlds, you know, to be the best version I can be physically, but also financially as well. And um, that's what kind of pulled me away from, you know, going the bodybuilding route. Four. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're really focusing on squeezing at the top and also stretching as far as we can, which is going to stretch that back and make your back wider. Ten, eleven. No half reps, full reps. Squeeze and then fully extend. Ah. One thing I am very big on is just being the best version of yourself, but also putting yourself in an environment that supports you being the best version of yourself. Like, just because you don't plan on being a bodybuilder doesn't mean that you shouldn't train amongst the best. Um, just because you're not a millionaire billionaire doesn't mean you shouldn't surround yourself around millionaire billionaires. See, being in certain environments is going to demand you step up, you know what I mean? Like, if you're competitive, if you have any type of drive or will whatsoever, being in an environment where people are doing it at the best level is going to push you to go harder. So you have to go out of your way to surround yourself with people and environments that demand the best from you. And I'm gonna be honest, man, that commercial gym grind was horrible, bro. Like it was just like, I would go in the gym for 45 minutes, work out and get out. Like it was like, it felt like I had to just knock the workout out. Like there was no, type of passion with working out at those commercial gyms. And nothing to anyone who works at a commercial gym, you know? It's all about your perspective and how you view the situation, you know what I mean? Like if it's convenient for you, if it's affordable, then hey, by all means, then you should go do that.
Four squad. Squeeze. Four squad. As much as I would love to take my shirt off and show you guys the way my back extends and the way it contracts, I just started here, so I don't want to get kicked out of the gym before I, I even get a full workout in. Um, but we're going three wheels right here. This is the four set. Um, again, you're going to see how far I extend and how I'm going slow extending and then how I'm squeezing here and almost holding here for like a second. So then, squeeze. <sighs> All right, so those last three reps were not the prettiest, but hey, we got it up though, right? Feels like I'm a kid in a candy shop right now. There's so much equipment to choose from. Like, I feel like I'm gonna go back to the old days where I used to spend three hours in the gym. So it's official. I love this fucking gym. All right, I don't know what this machine is called, but you got a grip up here, a slanted um, over grip. You have a neutral grip. You have a underhanded decline grip. You have a low grip. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, I love it here. <laughs> like, I actually love it here. And one thing I really do love about them is people are responsible, usually, and usually pretty respectful for the most part, um, meaning that people put their weights back. In commercial gyms, people don't give a flip about anyone or anything. And in commercial, it's more like the unity, more community. And people will call you out if you do some fucked up shit. You know, now there's a downside to being at a private gym, you know? Sometimes there's drama going on because it's, everything's so in-house. Everyone knows everyone. People are very interactive with each other. So sometimes there is a lot of drama there. So you really just have to learn when to include or exclude yourself from certain um, situations because uh, it can be pretty dramatic at private gyms. All right, I don't know which grip I'm gonna use. We got up, we got, I'm gonna go with, I like the up. I know that's gonna be more upper, more lat. This is gonna be more lat, more upper back. This right here. Is good. This is gonna be perfect. Bro, I feel like I'm in heaven right now. We're going for volume here, not so much quantity, so more of an eight to 12 than anything else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, five. Man, another reason I really love being at private gyms is because you don't really have to do as much improvising. Um, usually the equipment there is made for damn near every muscle group you wanna work. Um, so you don't really have to finesse workouts to get a certain pump. One thing I want you guys to know that in order for things to be different for you, you'll have to be different. You know, like someone said something to me the other day, they were like, man, you look stuck up. You always walk around with an attitude. I was like, oh, well, there's two ways you can look at it. You can look at it like, hey, I've got a purpose. I'm on a mission. I'm not here to play around. Or you can look at me as being perspective. But all of it is just a reflection of the type of person you are and the way that you see the world. And, um, you know, it's one of those things where when you become different, you no longer feel the need to associate yourself with every person that you walk past because they're on a different mission. And if, and if their role doesn't align with yours and they're not trying to be the best version of themselves, there's no reason and keeping someone like that around and even trying to you know get to know someone like that like what, what how does that serve you now if you can empower uplift and inspire them to you know um to be the best version of themselves then okay great but if they're on if they're crashing out if they're you know focused on all the wrong things and it's just going to pull you away from what your goal is in life then what's the point why why, why? Damn, it feels good. All right, guys, so I'm going to be honest. My camera is always going dead. I'm at about like 
8%, so I might lose you guys here. But you know, of course, it's back day, Verdell day, so of course we're throwing some pull-ups in there. So we're gonna go four sets of 20 reps on pull-ups. We're not gonna go so much narrow. We're gonna go closer so we can focus more on depth and really contracting, all right? All right, so I'm gonna be honest, that probably wasn't the best angle. So what I'm gonna do for this next set, I'm gonna throw y'all in the corner so you can actually see me squeezing at the top for about half a second, one second, whatever. All right, so a lot of the time before I actually start to work out, I don't even know what the subject of the vlog is about until I start talking. But then I realized today's conversation is really about sur surrounding yourself with winners, being around people who are challenging themselves to be the best version of themselves in every area of their life. So. <laughs> Uh, uh. And again, I have to let you guys know to like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know if you like the content. Um, let me know what you like, want to see more of. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, anything that you know that I could be of service to you, just reach out. Um, my Instagram, that's Rocky.era, and uh, you know I'm just here to serve. I'm just here to serve. So I know that was a quick workout and um, I definitely flew through that one, but really can't afford to spend three hours in the gym anymore like I used to. Um, it's funny how, you know, as life goes on, as we evolve, um, so do our responsibilities and the things that we involve ourselves in with. Um, but so far, um, love the gym. I feel happy here, I feel comfortable. Um, I feel like I'm not in anyone's way when I'm shooting my content. And I have an aesthetic environment where um, I feel like I can continue being consistent with the content that I'm putting out there for you guys. So um, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Now before I end this video, you know that we've got some biceps you gotta finish off with. My favorite bicep um, triple set. Um, we're gonna go 12 reps of each, about 25 pounds, and then we'll finish up and get out of here.